What's up guys? So I just got a package in the mail today and I got a bunch of cool stuff in here and I wanted to turn the camera on and show you guys some really interesting things like this. I'm just talking about just a second. Um, but also to th say thank you to the person who sent this. They just send a letter here. It says, Dear Mr. Smith, I'm sending some items that I hope you would like and have some use for. I'm a fan of your a fan of yours and enjoy your videos very much. Uh, keep those videos coming. Best regards, but the name is not there. This is the whole, the whole note. But you know who you are, and a huge thank you to you. You sent some really interesting things. So uh, right off the bat, uh, what's in this box off to the side, I'll show you last. This will make a couple of you scratch your heads and go, uh-oh, more of those. Uh, but maybe some of you guys actually like it, because believe it or not, people do watch those videos. So we will see what's in here at the end. Actually, a couple of really nice things in here, and then mostly just... Just something, <laughs> you'll see. Anyway, so this, this is a cartridge display, if you can see that in the background, it says Weatherby, uh, tomorrow's rifles today. And I've seen these, if you were interested in something like this, I've seen these on eBay before. Um, this actually has two layers of plastic, it might be hard to tell, but there's like a thinner layer. And some of these were colored. I've seen uh, blue ones and green ones before, but I really like this clear one. And this basically is just housing a bunch of different cartridges to kind of compare them uh, size-wise. So if you look at the bottom, you can maybe read those. The first one's a 224. By the way, I've never shot any of these cartridges before. Some of them are a little bit more common than others, but 224, uh, 257, a 270, a 7 millimeter, 300, 340, 378, and a 460. That's a beast. So, I mean, that is really, really cool if you're into firearms. See, there's no primers on these. These cartridges are not live rounds. They're just put together for display purpose. But that is really, really neat. What a cool display item for, you know, pro gun guy. So, in the background here, sent some decks of cards, which is awesome for the uh, card collection. And, yeah, actually, a lot of you guys have sent messages to me uh, through Instagram asking to see, like, playing card collection. I will one day, and this is more for, like, winter time stuff, like collection videos, because everyone wants to see a bunch of things that people are collecting. Uh, I get that. I'd, I'd want to see that, too. I'm saving those for the winter time When I'm stuck inside and there's a snowstorm and I can't go anywhere, that's when I'll start digging out collections and show whole collection videos, because those are fun. But I'm kind of saving that. So anyway, some cool playing cards. Fable 3, uh, Blade. This I'm not familiar with. Uh, Caracos Basketball. Some uh, anime type stuff. Uh, Attack on Titan. Also some JDM type cards. It's actually really cool. So those are going in the old card collection. Then, whoops, behind here. It's a cool little sword letter opener. Which I thought was neat. I like that. And there's some uh, some random stuff in here. Some uh, old knives. I got some silver in here. Some different coins, which is just really, really nice to send. Oh man, this thing. First of all, in here is some different, whoops, some different world coins, which I actually have a huge collection of, which I thought was really nice. But besides that, this is one of the first things that I saw was this. And I was like, oh man. So Australian one ounce gold 1994 in a very cool case and then you flip it over still cool but on right on top replica not gold so this is uh i guess maybe if you visited australia this would be like a souvenir you could take home i really like it a lot i actually have a fake gold um what is it uh, standing liberty and it's a keychain and i use that for the key for my uh, humidor so i actually really do like these even though it's not the real thing it's still pretty cool to gawk at and maybe kind of pretend in my head that it is. So we got a nice uh, silver quarter here. Have some more little silver, silver dime. A smaller art bar. Another one gram bar, which is very nice. Also a copper round. I don't have much copper. I do have another coin somewhere. I thought that was really neat. Um, also some wheat pennies, which I do also collect. What don't I collect, right? Uh, some random knives in here. Just got this one from someone else, so that's actually pretty interesting because I've never heard of this before. Um, and now I have two different people who sent to me to try out. These actually are on Amazon. Uh, quite hefty. By the way, quick note for the other person that wanted to know the weight on these, I finally got a battery. And this is someone who, who uh, sent me one of the, actually sent two of these and wanted to know what it weighed. 
not this model, but the other model with that little, what I thought was a finger twirl, that was actually a sharpened you know, area there. That weighed 9.8 ounces on my scale. This one I have yet to, to weigh, but I would say it's close, probably in the eight ounce range. But yeah, that thing was a beast. So for that one person, thank you again. Uh, that's what it came out to be. Um, it's a cool old buck model. This is the 501. This is actually a really nice little knife. I'm gonna clean this up, get some use out of that. We have 50 BMG bottle opener, which is also for the bottle opener collection. I do have other ones, but this one's been like powder coated, really, really nice. So I like that a lot. Thank you for that. A little teeny, teeny knife in here. With some uh, abalone shell scales. I do have a small <laughs> collection, no pun intended, of small knives. So that was really neat. This is cool to have like as a, a little pendant, especially if you're a woman and you're not really super into knives. You know, maybe your girlfriend, your wife, you want them to have a little knife on them. This is perfect. Just a, it's a piece of jewelry. You know, it can go on your keys, but to have this on a nice uh, chain, silver or gold chain or something like that. I mean, maybe better off silver. But just have it around the neck. And hey, in a pinch, if you really need a blade, you have one. So I like stuff like that. Um, there is a ballast song in here. This looks like a FHM. Very cool. This will go right into the ballast song collection. Love it. A little bit stiff, gotta work on that. But I like it a lot. Old Winston lighter. Probably not working, but I'm gonna see if I can get this fixed. It's one of those promotional cigarette lighters. Pretty cool a little cigarette sticking up. I used to have one of these back in the day. I had a, I think it was Marlboro Lights. My dad got it for me at a bar or something. Um, some gun oil, Extreme Duty, Lucas. <laughs> this cool little, little uh, figurative pocket knife, I guess is what that's considered. I like it though a lot. It's cool. Um, big old Texas toothpick here. Two bladed. This one says uh, made in Western Germany. Pretty interesting with the uh, celluloid scales there. I like it. Another nice, cool candidate to get cleaned up. Another uh, lock back here. This one is Shetfield. A little penny. Now these are cool and I do collect these. I'm not sure I'm gonna do with this one yet because I collect the ones like places I go. And I know if I put this in my collection, this one is from some aquarium. <laughs> but I know if I put this in my collection, one day I'm gonna take these out and show someone. They'll be like, oh cool, aquarium. I'm like, eh, I don't remember going there. <laughs> but still cool, nonetheless. It's a interesting little boot knife here. Always dig a good boot knife. This one's a super, super lightweight. It'll be from the probably the 80s I like that though there is a zippo in here which is kind of sad it's an older zippo um but yeah i mean i say sad because it looks like it's commemorating two people that have passed looks like two sets of initials here and a date so actually the person who sent this package if you can let me know the story behind this zippo i would love to know it i mean are those family members that passed away friends you know maybe they're not maybe they're they're still living and it's something totally different. I just, that's my assumption, but very, very interesting. I love, absolutely love a knife or a lighter with a story. The story is just as important as the knife itself. And then lastly, very well used, sharp branded knife, which I don't think I've ever had before. Pretty interesting. This little lock back. It actually fills the hand very nicely. So lastly here in this box, let me move this stuff carefully. Um, yeah, this, this is the first thing I opened and I kind of laughed. So here it is. Here's what's in here. Ta-da! Cigars. <laughs> now, these three cigars are very nice and I can't wait to try these. I might do a review on one or two or all three of them, who knows. Uh, Dark Knight. This is a, uh, Hoya de Monterey. It's a two-bow. Let's open this, take a quick little peek at it. Mm. Oh, that smells great. It's uh, Excalibur 1066. I've never had this cigar. Nice, deep Maduro wrapper. Very excited about that one. 
Um, also, there is a uh, Gurkha in here, an aged Gurkha. I've never had this one either. Very interesting. And lastly, I've never even heard of this before. It says uh, Moscato, Moscato Vivace. Moscato, what type of grape? Or wine? Maybe it's a wine infused cigar. Mmm. That yeah, definitely smells infused to me. I might be wrong. If you guys more have more information on that, I'd love to hear it. But yeah, I mean, that's... Mm, actually, the top part smells a little bit like something fruity. But the foot smells like chocolate, like just super strong chocolate smell. Really interesting. I'm going to have to look that one up because I've not seen that before. But this is, this is the really cool stuff. Now, <laughs> the rest of the box, if you can't already tell, are more gas station cigars and some really interesting ones here. There's a honey bourbon, backwoods, uh, like Sw Swisher Sweets on the bottom, Arctic Ice, uh, Cognac, Game Leaf. Um, another Game Leaf here, Sweet Aromatic. Russian Cream, that sounds really interesting. Some Acid as well. Let's see, Phillies, Philly Blunts, Southern Blend. Um, what is this, Kush? <laughs> Show BK Natural Leaf Kush. Kush flavored maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. This one's really interesting, a Backwoods Dark Stout. That sounds awesome. Uh, and another acid. So yeah, these are ones, I've never seen any of these flavors by me, not that I've been looking really hard, so who knows, maybe there are a couple of these by me. But yeah, some of you guys absolutely hate these, and you're like, Jeff, why are you killing yourself doing these videos? Well, I mean, partly out of curiosity. I'm wondering if one of these things actually tastes good. So far, they've all been offensive. Some have been less offensive than others, but none of them have really been good. You know, when that camera's not on, I am not smoking these. You know, I'm taking the time to smoke stuff like that, just because I don't smoke that often. And when I do, I want it to count, I want it to taste good. However, um, if you look at the views on those videos, people do watch them. They are interested. There's more people out there that are interested in how these taste than something like this. At least at least people clicking on the videos. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know if they're clicking on it because they want to see me cough and choke and you know be disgusted, uh, or if they're actually interested in the cigars. But either way, I will not kill you guys with a bunch of these. I'll spread them out sporadically, you know, try them here and there. I would say maybe more so some of these, uh, you know, around, again, winter time. When I'm stuck in the house, I have nowhere to go. I'll go outside when it's snowing or go on the porch or whatever and try one of these things. But yeah, I mean, it was a really nice gesture. And uh, because these are all sealed up, I mean, I can hang on to them. It's not like they're gonna go bad or anything. But anyway, that is all. That is the uh, unboxing here. Some really interesting stuff. Across the board, hit a ton of hobbies. So thank you very much again. Huge thumbs up to the, uh, the sender. Really appreciate it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.